Okay, there we go. Ahoy everyone, welcome on board. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight along with... Be a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at his service. Who should be having a much bigger <laughs> image to look at now, since I've moved things around a bit with OBS. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, almost my like old days, except I can actually see chat and uh, other things uh, beside those old days. Uh, yeah, that's... I had a moment... I had a bit of a eureka moment, well, not really one, but more like a oh moment, uh, when I realized that, oh yeah, I have the audio bars pulled out. So, uh, yeah, I just pulled out the stats bar as well, which opened up a hell of a lot of room for the display window to be opened up in, uh, which is now covering like, what, uh, 80 to 90% of the screen. So, yeah, that should make things a lot easier for Drakir to read stuff like that above. Hello, Cookie. Yeah. Hello, Cookie. Do, do, does that mean that I will no longer be able to spot if there's an audio bug or... Uh, notice we are uh, here and forgot to put the, the record button on or not. Hmm. Yeah, that, that'll be up to me. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, something is, something is happening because there... When I, even when I'm quiet, the microphone bar is moving just a tiny bit, but it's not freaking out as usual. Because otherwise, the Kia would have told me. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's just bouncing between minus 60 decibels and minus 55 decibels. So that should be reasonable. Or hopefully, it's not going to be the cause for anything. That might explain why the Discord thinks you're just talking non stop. Could be. I swapped. I swapped my mic's uh, USB port over to a different one. Uh, might be that something is happening with that. And anyways, uh, let's see. Cookie, uh, how's your house? Did it get hit by a tree? Helene, uh, how was the storm at your place? We mostly had a lot of wind, followed by a freaking rain, <laughs> by a freaking monsoon. Uh, no damages to my knowledge, or if there were any, they've been cleaned up already. Like I'm you not missing any today? trees. Uh, we, yesterday, we, 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 we've been hiding that for several, uh, more than a week now over here. Uh, yeah, since that that storm has been coming from uh, top to bottom. Oh, so you got my storm. Usually I get your bad weather. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, been Storm Polly causing some issues. Uh, so <laughs> I don't think Hop Hop is going to be too happy with her. Then again, should anything else be expected from that murder sphere? <laughs> and for people wondering, that's Amphibia references. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, last bit of technical stuff before we actually get into the bloody game. Um, yeah, since the fixes that I tried didn't work before, that means that the issue that keeps causing my mic to freak out lies somewhere between the mic and the computer which means there's three points that could be faulty. The mic itself, which would be a bit pricey to re uh, re yeah, to replace. The cable that connects it to the computer or the USB port. I've swapped it over to a different USB port, so if it happens again this time, and since this game seems really intent on causing them, I expect it to, uh, if it were to happen. If it happens again, then it's either the cable or the microphone. Uh, let's see. Ta -ta -ta. So you live further away because I walked around and I saw a tree on a high school. Lots of trees. I had issues. Uh, lots of trees they didn't clean up yet. I almost got blown away. So yeah, left. Fun times almost flying on the road. <laughs> uh, that's not what they mean with flying down the street. Not in the way they intend to, anyways. Oh, I knew that experience. Been a while. Had a long time when I was young. But soon when I actually let the wind, well, blew me around on bicycle. For about one <laughs> kilometer without doing anything. The wind did all the work. Okay, I was waiting for the my fan to do another pass there. It's not the wind from the mic, uh, from the micro, from the fan that I have that is causing the audio. So something else is. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it then. Oh, big boy. 
Where are you going? Okay, I need to explode something. Okay, um, there. Shoot it in the dick. Get it then. Okay, uh, big boy. Yes, big boy. Uh, one thing that I dislike about the plasma rifle is that it, it takes a bit for the bullets to actually travel. So if you're trying to get kills, on, if you're trying to get uh, glory kills on something, it's probably already died from extra rounds that you were firing his way. Hello. Big boy, yes. <laughs> Blow its freaking head off. How did the moment I thought I hit survive, but no, it's the second one. So that's two down, one to go. Based on Rob, you have lobby rocket react. Fun thing is, uh, uh -oh. they've been nerfed somewhat in this game, because before, in the old Doom games, it used to be that those things were tracking. Oh. So, yeah. Okay, now. Uh, shall we keep the gun in the middle like this, or shall we move back to it on the side? Uh, let's move it back to the side. It feels weird for some reason. Uh, it, it feels weird because it's not how it's typically done, but it was how it used to be done. Uh, let's see, game... Yeah, uh, oh, hello, Derby! Oh, hello, Durban. <laughs> Been a bit. And I'm going to need to move that out. Uh, I'm going to need to tag that out on the edits again. Okay, been a bit, so can't blame you freely for forgetting that. But, yeah, please, no real names and such. Oh, I, I did not notice that. Okay, what did that do? That opened that up. Okay. Uh, you've been well, I... Uh, you've been well, I hope, Durvan. Same for you, Cookie. Yeah, take that thing an explosive headache. It's... Okay, Tron noises. Yeah, but you're saying, what the heck? Oh, hello. There's a trowel in the body there. Alright. Durvan is doing good. Cookie, yeah. Simon Shore, and Marco Peer. Hello, Marco. Yeah, but did, did I hit something in midair there? <laughs> okay. I think so. Yeah, I, I think we took damage. Oh, well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You're strong for a 50 kg uh, girl, a wind of 120 kilometers is strong. College got cancelled. That's how I started my vacation. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, yep, doing that. Uh, I mean, and hello, Marco. Next to that, I'm sick and have internship and leading you know, like, like about 100 kids tomorrow. Pretty fine. That's that's going to be like her cats. Okay, this he's getting stuck is still a bit of a thing every now and then. It is a, a very minor thing in comparison, but it's still a nuisance. Okay. This should be number seven, I think. Well, let's see. Armed with the heavy assault rifle. Not the happy assault rifle. And yes, I clipped that at that time, one time. Eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Uh, movement is only permitted for three seconds following any kill. Okay. Oh, dear. And Drogon saw Oh, I feel like I know what happened. I think the cacao demon hit you mid-air, which made you lose momentum. But I didn't see a cacker demon. I, I saw it, and the one did too, so he's, they okay. confirmed they saw a fluty creature. Okay. they only allowing movement for three seconds after a kill. It's interesting. Um... You are. Okay, whatever you do, Cookie, don't tell the kids you have candy. They'll go mad like 
seagulls. Okay. Okay, three more kills. There we go. I was mostly going for body shots there. But they do die, or imps at least die, from two headshots we got, I think. Uh, oh. Let's see. Uh, get shot cookie. there. Don't tell them you have candy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Durvin thought I saw a uh, floaty creature. Okay. Uh, and joking, tomorrow I will be standing at an activity with many kids tomorrow. I'm curious, is Doom Eternal also on the playlist? It definitely is. I was getting really, really frustrated with this game two days ago because it just kept happening with the audio glitching. It hasn't happened so far, so that is a good sign. Watch me change it and happen in like three seconds. Hmm? What? Apparently not. But... Oh, okay, now I see what you mean, that Kuga. All right, sorry. I forgot that part. Yeah. Uh, good luck with that because yeah, there's there's a lot of places where teachers are very much uh, in need. Let's see. I, I think that's basically globally teachers are in need. Let's go with this one for now. And yeah, ammo boost. Uh, How long demons remain staggered? Okay, that should be good. Anything we can spend some points on? Yep, that one completely filled out. We need to do this. Uh, fire twice with the super shotgun before having to re... Oh, I think I know how you do that. Um, I think if you just click the button, it will double... It will fire both barrels. But if you hold it, it will fire one and then the other ones you let go. Uh, From Dur Durban Lord, I'm curious. Is Doom Eternal also on the... Yes, Doom Eternal is also on the list. Grab that one. Let's see. Multi-targeting. Hold the weapon mod button to lock. Now supports up to three targets. Rockets will be divided amongst established locks. Okay. Kill five summoners using the lock on. Okay. Yeah, definitely make you, <laughs> definitely telling you that summoners are a, a priority target with the rockets. Okay, there's a body in there. But that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Like yeah. rockets and snipers would probably be the perfect thing to take out summoners. Especially with how movie they are. Let me check back for a bit if I can. Um, and that's me from losing cookie. my own audio. Still okay, also cookie. can't figure out why that oh. happens. It's like the Bluetooth that decides. Nope, you don't. Uh, you don't exist. <laughs> okay. Luckily, a quick on and off does solve that, but it's still annoying. Welcome back, Captain. Let's see. Uh, you can hear me, right? Maybe. Uh, I guess it is. And I just see no shit. But if I don't know what F for means, I. From Cookie, I would give them candy. To... So you, oh bloody heck! I think she, I think she's pulling my legs. Or tail. You actually leave my tail alone. Okay. Uh, Being a yeah. Okay, now I'm. Okay, confused. now two things happened at once. For one, my blue suit hmm? again just decides that my headset does not exist for some reason. And the movement buttons got stuck. Uh, like, I hope we haven't traded out one audio issue for another. Test one, two. Two, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I hope. Nah, I hope we just haven't moved the issue from one thing to another or something. <laughs> Yeah, people, okay, th that's the thing we've been trying to fix.
And for some reason, it happens more often with this game. Other games usually maybe happen once, not uh, none, once or twice. But on Doom here, it That's happens more. Two. Three, four, five. Yeah, for some reason, it just happens a lot more with this game than with any other game. Typically, we don't have this happen at all, but we've had it happen now that it happens five times and then seven times. So yeah, if it if it happens again in this stream, then we're moving on to a different game because I just... Hmm. But it, this has confirmed it is not the USB slot. It's either the cable or the microphone itself. That at least yeah. is somewhat useful. But uh, the, the, the question is, what is with Doom that makes the problem escalate? Yeah. Uh. Okay. It's moving on. If it happens oh, again, we okay. have... Okay. Okay, Cookie. Now I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. Th yeah. That I can see will get annoying. Okay, give me this. We've missed a few of these. <clears throat> okay, let's put that into ammo. And let's see. Do it Mark something with older people and young kids. For me, it's not that bad since I heard worse. Uh, why would you call, uh, they call you that? Uh, uh, okay. Anything else around here? There's a guy up there. It's over there about, I think. Hmm. I, I don't think it was a Kako demon, because I think we would have spotted it. It might have been a lost soul that we ran into. A bit literally. I see from Durvan. Could be a lot going on and some of the game systems can't handle it? That shouldn't be the case. My GPU and CPU aren't maxed out. Or near maxing out either. True, do During the pandemic, many things went past uh, regulations. There, Basically, many closed. computer uh, manufacturers skipped out the quality controls just because they noticed so many were buying parts. Let's see. And I thought, oh, they will just buy it anyway. And yeah. Okay, this so means... I had it wrong. Mm -hmm. It isn't that you need to hold down the button to fire one shell and then the other. But how do you... How do you do one shot after the other net? Then. I've done it at least once, according to the mastery. And yeah, the Lost Souls' the sound is really annoying, especially since it keeps going even after you kill them. Hmm. <clears throat> And that is also a thing still, that sometimes the game just gets unselected. Though I have heard of a way that might be used to identify what might be causing that at the absolute least. Though that might not actually provide a, f a fix for it. Uh, and you sent Kenny to space. Gauging reaction. <laughs> hmm. Was he trying to be a ninja? Maybe. It's. Oh, hello. If we turn this off. Uh, that goes yeah, open. Yeah, I get what you mean there, uh, Cookies. I apologize for the yoke. I. I often forget people have done so many. Out of context jokes. Oh. Sometimes I try to make us an innocent joke, only to realize, oh yeah, it is no longer innocent. Because it's someone done that. 
Uh, let's see. We can now get a, an upgrade for the yeah, for the chain gun, and one of them is a freaking Gatling gun. The weapon mods uh, can spin up the chain gun barrels without firing, and mobile turret hold the mo mo yeah, the key at yeah, the button to transform the ba uh, rebel barons into a mobile turret. It will stall if it overheats. Uh, let's actually go with this one because it does a bit more than that what it says there. Because now we have triple barrel. Oh dear God! <laughs> yeah, now the pain is really going to be coming fast and quick. I. I think I know a few friends who wants this for Christmas or their birthdays. Why not both? It does add, add an overheating element to the game or to the gun. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just go up there. Uh, yes, the Rolo, that's a recent key thing in these latest Doom games. Uh, game. Yep. Games? What did I say? I, I think it was games. I hope it was games. <laughs> she didn't accidentally say. I want to say, yeah, I want to say Grace. I don't know what I said. But yeah, games. Doom games. They had a modification to the weapons. And yeah, you, as you can see, it rips. <laughs> and tear. Where is that cyber? Where are you? It can't be there, there you are. And of course, it starts to have frame lag like, on my end due to they watching something down the stairs probably at the worst moment. Demon presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Okay. And yeah, dress well, Cookie. You deserve some proper rest. Yeah, we all do. Okay, clean out the place. Okay, what the hell is this? Now, let's see. Sorry for not keeping track uh, of the chat as much. <laughs> it's a bit hard when you're trying to combat demons. And uh, your fall. That's uh, just a joke everyone makes, but some people actually, mainly kids, call me. You know. So basically, I'm just trying to explain what I really am trying to see as a goal. Uh, but I'll be going to be honest because I still feel sick. Okay. Yes. See you later, Cookie, and be. I hope you'll feel better soon. Uh, and yeah, just be well soon as well. Uh, and yeah, in this Doom 2016 and uh, Doom Eternal, weapon mods are a thing where you can just well change up the guns a bit. Like this one adds a grenade launcher and a quick fire oh, wrong button and a quick fire burst if I swap them out like this. Let's take a second. The machine gun has well micro missiles and a scope that you could put on, a stun and a, a burst thing, I believe. Or overheat. Lock on and remote detonation. And well a shotgun doesn't really need modifications, now does it? Yeah, this I, I just realized there's something comical with the machine gun. Like, you, you know some modern gate guns have a, a grenade launcher? Yeah. But the machine gun here that said, screw a grenade launcher, let's put a missile launcher instead. Okay, so it's a prototype weapon. Let's see, we need... I think we need to get in there. Some of this place is locked down, and it looks like I walked right by a body, so let's go look that up. And I'm gonna go and grab some ice cream. Let me grab that. BFG 9000. Okay, let's have a read on that. Oh, you've got the codex before the gun! Yep. The theoretical design of the BFG-9000 was first put forward by the R&D department in the Advanced Research Complex, and the concept was later given its own funding program. The BFG division was formed to develop a working design. Several prototype weapons have since been made. 
The prototypes never went into full production due to numerous testing accidents and the deadly radiation spikes produced. Previous versions of the weapon had slightly different energy patterns to the current generation. Some released uh, solitary argent spheres that unleash a deadly wave upon impact, others formed an argent laser that cuts through anything in its path. The current prototype, the BFG 9000, creates argent streams that seek out targets and boil them alive. And boils them alive. Yeah, that, that's referencing the previous BFG uh, uh, versions. Like the original yeah, despires no. out a big boom. Yeah, no, let's take it over here. It says BFG 9000. Yeah, put in your own yeah, Dragon Ball joke there. Uh, oh no, uh, many kids just add some numbers and think it's just a cool factor. No, it's not a cool factor, it's actually the current version of how many model attempts they tried. Yeah. And yes, we did just pick up an entire <laughs> human torso. Is this the same place? Yeah, this must be a different chamber with a different version and prototype. Hmm. I also realized you have missed a BFG uh, codex. several breakthrough fields, including BFG development, teleportation research, and cybernetic augmentation. And wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Hmm? What about Cybernetic Augmentation? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, can I oh, what would you to say there, Helium? Game unselected. Uh, for people wondering what BFG stands for, it stands for Big Fucking Gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that's the alternative translation. There is another official uh, uh, term for it. And that is uh, hello. Okay, just re retract the floor. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Oh dear. I think you said nope. for biofragmentary gun or something. And those are instant kill. Uh, okay, just kick us while we're down. Okay. Okay, I see him. And Derma Lord, Cybernetic Augmentation is a hint of something we should be worried about. And yeah, it looks like the way back is just completely sealed off. So yeah, we can't get to that body for its upgrade points. Actually, how many do we have at the moment? Uh, we have three. We need four for the last upgrade here to hop swap the weapon attachments. Hmm. Yeah. Let's try this again. But yeah, for uh, now that we've narrowed the problem, the audio problem down to the cable or the microphone, I have ordered two different cables. One with an XLR attachment and one with a USB mini attachment, because this mic can output to either of those. Um, yeah, I will be able to test both of those cables this weekend to see if it happens there. And yeah, if it happens with both of the cables, then it's the it's the microphone, and I'll have to replace that. At all? Or oh, wait. Let's 
glowy things on this thing. Come on, get up. Do we need to shoot that? Yes, we do. It's just that the pistol is not too good at dealing with it. it there we go. Come here, pretty. We've got ourselves a big fucking gun. It opens up to there, really. Okay. Weapons BFG 9000. When correctly charged, ionized, and compressed, deadly packets of Argent energy can be released in a controlled manner at a velocity and potential energy quota far exceeding conventional weapons. The weaponization of Argent energy led to the development and mass production of the plasma rifle, but the USC realized they were capable of much more. The BFG-9000 is the culmination of those efforts. Only one prototype of the final weapon exists, and it is housed deep within the ARC in the BFG division. This weapon delivers streams of supercharged Argent energy to multiple targets, and is to some extent self-guiding. The streams will seek any cache of Argent it can find, usually demons or human test subjects that have had Argent beacons surgically implanted, when the streams find our target, they release all of their stored energy in a fraction of a second, delivering elect an electrical shock that instantly boils the blood and fatty tissue of the <laughs> recipient. Spontaneous explosion of the subject often follows. Yeah. Big boom causes target go boom. And we... Actually, we did read this one last time, the Cyber Mancubus. Which is basically a Mancubus playing VR <laughs> Beat Saber or something. <laughs> and we're the blocks. You're still in my yokes now, eh? Oh. And that is what it does. Just everything, boom. Okay, I was expecting a, a demon to show up in that. Hmm. Same! I guess we found the uh, people. Yep. I, I fell. Down. Down, face. Down. There we go. Uh, did I just ramp down the other process? <laughs> I don't know if they did, but I know it, it toppled over an explosive barrel. Ooh, hello. Yeah, oh, the, the big shorty ones are called pinky. Yeah. And not because they're the size of a demon's pinky toe, but because they're all pink. Pinky's the nicknames for them, since they apparently have no official name. Near you. Okay, now we're getting started. And I just want to give the term of this context. Pinkies are demonic animals. There's a better thing a role of all people, cattle and a pack dogs. Yeah. Basically, they're demon cows. Very angry, chargy demon cows. <laughs> uh, more like angry demon attack bulls. <laughs> that loves to eat meat. Yeah, it's a case so of either it eats you or you eat it. I 
Yep. Nice. There, get rid of you. Of course, a freaking more shielders. Oh. Uh, where's the summoner? Where's the su there's the summoner? That was a wasted shot. Oh, that, that, oh, that got you out in one. Okay. Going to have to remember that. Holy. In the meantime, actually. left with grenades fuck off you entirely I really do not like those guys also thinking with Which portals the shield ones oh yeah usually shield use in his like this in gives all usual annoying I can hear you That it? It's not it. Actually, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to go through the portal. Wait, is this a. Oh, for a moment, I thought it was an exit only. And did you see how quickly that guy just flipped around there for a moment? There's one of his fucking feet. Okay, there were, there were two hastes here that I completely forgot about. And I'm not surprised. Could have carved Weapon something up for ammo. Gained. Oh, nice. Yeah, from killing a certain amount of demons in the level. Another haste? Okay. <laughs> they really wanted us to make haste with this fight. Uh, make let's... haste! To the Doommobile! Uh, someone recently made a... Made a, a 3D animation of a... <laughs> Of a the Doom guy on a Doom motorcycle, and it was pretty well made, I must say. Uh, Wait, how do you call that? It... Doom cycle or something? Yeah, I saw that years no, ago. And I think so, someone. Do I think it's someone built this in real life. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, was that big red? Yep, we're dealing with barons. Oh, yeah, it's a barrel of hell. Not sure if it's just one, though. I think I saw a second. Or if it is, or if there is a second, it's being quiet. Yeah, there you are. Actually, come here, big boy. Yep. Give me all the loot. There we go. Locked Lockdown. Disengaged. And um, wait. No, we can't get to the fuel now. Oh well. Let's just get out. And welcome back, Mark. Welcome back, Marco. Let's see. Uh, perform five screw top glory kills on the possessed. Attack the lower right leg or head from behind. We missed a lot of secrets. We didn't even get one of the elite guards, and of course we missed another cell. And a trial, but yeah, we already we already couldn't figure out how to get around the wall, but between us and that trial, I think. Anyways, Lazarus oh, Labs. You are at the heart of the UAC occult, the Lazarus Labs. This is where Olivia released the demons from their cells and activated the Lazarus Wave, turning UAC personnel into unwilling possessed. You are in search of her private offices, where the Helix Stone is stored. Unlock the secrets of the sacred artifact to find out how to shut down the well, the Argent Tower's energy source in hell. 
Yeah, hopefully they'll pull the plug on the <clears throat> on the portal. You'll find the Helix Stone in Olivia's private archival lab deep within this facility. Few have ever seen the stone. But if you came to us for a reason, you might be able to see something in it we haven't. Totally doesn't look ominous and important. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully once we figured out what the hell is causing the mic issues, we may be able to figure out what the hell keeps causing my headset to lose connection as well. It is not a mistake yeah. that he has come into our position. The demons prophesized his return. If he awakes, it could jeopardize the entire mission. For he is the only one who can stand against them. Just overlook that. Lazarus Labs. That's fellow disciple. This message has been sent to you in recognition of your service to the Lazarus Project. I am Olivia Pierce. You have been granted the highest level of clearance we allow at the Lazarus Project, and as such, you are expected to partake in all rituals, sacrifices, and vivisection programs, both human, and, both demon and human, as requested. Whether as a practitioner, a practitioner of the dark arts or as a patient of a cleansing, as we work tirelessly to open the gates to hell, remember our mantra: the science will cleanse us. Our recent expedition to the Great Step. Uh, I still don't know how to actually pronounce that word, so I'm just going to which step. Uh, resulted in the retrieval of new tablets, which will help us further decode the Helix Stone. I must reiterate again the importance of fully decoding the stone. The scriptures tell us that it holds the key to both realizing our future and destroying us. So we must know it before the enemy. The enemy will come and we must be ready. While we are decoding the latest artifacts and relics, there will be no rest, no leave, and no sleep. We must succeed. Our lives mean nothing. Opening the gate is everything. Um, yeah. What word well, did you have problem with? This one here. It it basically means Great Plain, I believe. The Great Step? Yeah. That's how you say it, the Great Step. Okay, so the PND is silent, hopefully. Yeah. Attention to all Lazarus personnel. There will be an open forum to resolve any questions or concerns on the initiative to weaponize the demons. Report to the chapel at 1400 hours. Please save your work before attending. Totally not, uh, totally not meant to lure in people having doubts to kill them off and hello. Siphon grenades. I just saw a glowy on the floor and walked over it. Let's see. The Siphon Grenade was designed to work with the Doom Marine's Praetor suit, specifically to make use of the Argent Receptors found in the gloves and chest plates. The grenade has three stages. When primed, the grenade releases a positively charged particle field around itself and the operator's hand. Then when the grenade is released and explodes, um, and ex yeah, explodes it releases a negatively charged particle field over a distance of a few meters. The negatively charged particles attract Argent... Game getting deselected again. Uh, oh, attracts Argent plasma from any demon caught in the radius, tearing the plasma from their cells. Finally, the positively charged Praetor suit then attracts the negatively charged Argent cloud and gathers the plasma. This siphons energy back into the suit, partially healing the Doom Marine. Okay, <laughs> nice that they made this for us. Though I would like to know how to actually swap between these items, since I, <laughs> I only seem to be able to use the bloody frag grenades. <coughs> so is there a button for it that I just didn't tell? Uh, let's see, key bindings, uh, swap grenades, and up swap weapon. There, next equipment, previous equipment. Okay. 
If you're losing faith, hologram sighting. Okay. Others. Be strong and accept the consequences. Yeah, be strong and let yourself be killed, he means. Okay. Catch. Not the way I wanted to send that one. Of course. I really do not like these jackass because their shield take seems to take so much more damage than they should be able to take. Oh, oh, no, you dear. don't. Let's see, Marco, I just saw a glowy on the floor and <laughs> going in the quote book. <laughs> oh, I just love that. They seem to both look at that message at the same time. I was just to read that out as well. Yeah, just blow its tail off. Okay. Nope. Been a bit since we found one of those. Oop. Secrets. Nope. Okay, super health. Yep. Oh, that's still hit. Okay. Sit still, you, for a second. Yep. Wait, are Was it just me, or did it look like those shots were coming from the box? Yep. Oh, four. And that imp landed in mid-air on something. Gee. Anyone else? Nope. And time to poke the gore nest. Okay. It's going to be a weird day, ain't it? There, there we go. Grab this. Hey, oh, it was invulnerability that we had earlier, not haste. Hello? There. Hear you. Yep. Uh, key got stuck again. I think I got two there. Bad time for my nose to start itching. Alright, alright, I get a snapping head to the stretch your nose. I think I actually forgot to update the. the the content warnings for the stream. What? What do you mean again? Oops, I work. Okay, time to just pick up the big guns. Can we get something different from you? Nope. Feeding your own stupidity.
<laughs> okay, apparently this aim just does not count. And again, an invulnerability that I just completely miss. Fuck Jessica, because we know what happens to people who volunteer to become a revenant. Yeah, like, Fade Aim, we also did some of this a bit for comedy, but also, Olivia, it is at the same the time also scary. Somewhere inside this facility, I did hope she could rise above their influence. I was wrong. She proved to be weaker than I thought she'd be. So, um, let's get uh, this yeah. one. Uh, what was that? Uh, oh yeah. Some people find these holograms funny, but I found a mix of funny, but also kind of terrifying. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be the thing with it. Let's see. Seeds mode. This modification adds an argon gas ionizer to the weapon. When initiated, the launch chamber is vacuum sealed as argon gas is ionized until it forms plasma. When the argon has been fully ionized, the chamber is opened and a plasma beam is ejected from the weapon. Due to the precise nature of, uh, nature of this uh, modification's operation, safety valves pre uh, prevent the weapon from discharging until the argon has been fully ionized. The operator must also remain stationary during charging due to the volatile nature of freeing electrons from the gas. Upon successful release, the plasma beam will penetrate multiple targets and produce a con <laughs> concussive blast at the final point of impact. Okay, I want to try this thing out at least once. <coughs> what? what? Stop. D did you start laughing? Uh, part laughing and part sneaking, part half choking. <coughs> yeah. You're that excited for a this gun, aren't you? Yeah, let's call it inside instead of just needing to cough. And once again, the key just got fucking stuck there for some reason. Okay. Okay. See? Get this, and now we can get the hot swap. Upgrade. So, yeah, there we go. Now we can swap between these things a lot quicker. Yeah, that's a lot better. Uh oh. Okay. Now, to actually progress, we need to go. Oh, there's. No, oh, there's actually a notification or something that we missed there. And my sound is gone again. Maybe, let's see. Maybe if I just restart the audio engine on this, that might fix it quicker. No, it, it is just plain a Bluetooth issue. Huh. I start to wonder... There we go. Oh wait, can you hear me? Yes. Alright. I still wonder if you should, at this point, go back to... Headphones to cables. Maybe. Uh, but the issue with that, those I have, is that they start to chafe real quick. And I think, okay. I think it's less my headset itself and more just the Bluetooth on my computer fucking up somehow. Hmm. Like some sometimes when I restart the uh, computer, I have to I have to disable a bunch of Bluetooth stuff uh, or uninstall a bunch of Bluetooth drivers. Not that it actually does for it to actually start acknowledging my headset. So there's just something with the the Wi-Fi that's busted. Anyways. Oh dear. Elite Guard 2. UAC's employees are advised to comply with any orders received from an Elite Guard. Their jurisdiction is their juris, jurisdiction is absolute, answering only to the highest level executives of the UAC. 
If an elite guard kindly requests that you accompany them to the Lazarus Labs, you, you will be going to the Lazarus Labs. With such powerful capabilities in each elite guard, it, it was deemed necessary to implant a kill chip in each uniform so that they might also be controlled should an uprising occur among their ranks. The kill chip re responds to a Lazarus Wave signature that can only be broadcast by Samuel Hayden or Olivia Pierce. Okay, that explains why all of them are dead. I think it would have been a lot smarter to put in something that uh, would be more on an individual basis than just fuck all of them. Just because uh, Harry from accounting decided he wants to go on a power trip. So, they basically killed them to make sure they didn't fight the demons. That as well, probably. Here we go, some fuel again. Someone big is nearby. But I suspect the elite gods were not cultists, but they were paid to obey. But they even they have probably had it. limits to what they would obey, and hence the kill switch. Probably. Okay, there's something here. Sans, let's be honest. If you. The, the elite gods were fully converted. But they really need a kill switch. And my fear has been confirmed. Specimen CD587-1. The Korax tablets discovered during the UAC automated survey of 2143 mention an ancient battle in the Titan's realm during the Third Age. An expedition to the plains recovered several relics including the petrified remains of a massive Shadow Lord believed to be an ancient Balgar demon. Researchers in the Lazarus labs began work on piercing the, uh, piecing the creature back together. At first the project mandate was to construct an educational and inspirational exhibit. However, the focus quickly shifted when an attempt to melt the petrified tissue uncovered uh, to, to melt it, uncovered that exposure to small doses of plasmatic argent energy would reanimate the relic. The pretension of uh, creating living, growing tissue from the relic and the lure of an ultimate battle demon was too enticing to pass up. The project team quickly shifted direction and began work on melding the ancient uh, remains with high-tech weaponry. And that totally would not go wrong, like everything else that has gone wrong here, huh? Yeah. And let's see. Yeah, Marco uses uh, headphones with wires because of the weird feeling of wireless headphones. Okay, I, I wouldn't call it weird. It feels... With me, it's more that wires are more annoying than fuck off you. Because, yeah, the, the wire adds... The wire adds weight to the thing, which makes it feel like there's always something tugging at your head. Yeah, the, for me, I would have that probably with my cable for my head, uh, headset here. But that's because, well, I have a good position to put the cables into. And the cable is decent and long. Test one, two. Snap. snap. Three, four, five. <sighs> okay, it, it has been happening a lot less. May, maybe maybe there's something wrong with the series of USB ports because I did just put it into the next one over, not somewhere else on the where I could connect it to anything. Um, yeah, at, at least it's happening a whole lot less so far. Yeah, do, do remember one of the second Doom Steve we had. It didn't happen at all, or something? Yeah. 
There, so is, there seems to be something about the game that causes it to happen more often, but not always. It's a bigger chance to happen. Yeah. Let's see. There's nothing there, so it's likely sealed off. Also, I'm gonna say, they did a sort of realistic design with this cyber demon. And yeah, that's his that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that subject such and such. Yeah, yeah, that is the cyber demon. So uh, you can guess what the boss for this area is going to be. Oh, do you? Let's see. The Lazarus Labs is a subdivision of the advanced research complex and is only accessible at the highest clearance, le clearance levels. Uh, located deep underground to prevent infiltration or exfiltration, the Lazarus Labs are home to the longest serving and most dedicated UAC staff. Information regarding the Lazarus project is hard to come by as its members are highly secretive and well disciplined. What is known is that any cross dimensional anomalies, entities, or artifacts are immediately sent to the Lazarus labs for research and are never seen again. However, promotion to the, however, promotion to the Lazarus project is considered a badge of honor among the UAC staff, despite not knowing exactly what their work will entail. Yeah. Uh, I'm, after this, I'm going to install, let's see, what was it called again? Process something, which should help with identifying whatever is dragging attention away from the game. Because I think it's just some program just demanding that it get main priority for like half a second and then it fucks off. Alright. So I'll be able to identify what needs to be shut down or whatever for that to not happen again. I'm going to waste more than four shells on you. Today, and coughing, so you know, fun. Yeah, I did just need though. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, welcome back to Doom, where the audio issues are happening a lot less today, but they are still happening. Maybe the demons just hate you enough that they want to troll you in real life. <laughs> Maybe. But yeah, at, at I, least I now know that it's either the cable or the mic itself. The placements yeah. for the first are coming in tomorrow. Uh, mic will take a bit more. Anyways, I would. Was... <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, of course, it's going to be multiple of these jackasses here. Give me. There's a delay. There's a delay when you fire the gun. Like, an audio delay. Yeah! That, you. I also know that, that, that today's stream through Discord have been a slight, very slight delay. Hmm. I don't know if it was just on my end. Maybe. Maybe that's a part of what is causing with the audio issues? That some yeah, things are getting uh, delayed? The, the other times it was just fine, uh, no delays. Yep, hear you. Yep. Oh yeah, it's the seeds mode. Let's actually try that out. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm making the railgun even more powerful here. Okay, Wait, not what? as impressive as I thought. I thought it was just going to be a big fucking laser, but no. It's supposed to work more like a railgun than a laser. I think I misheard Rom there. 
What do you mean? At least I hope I need it. Uh, I've also heard Grom say, you soon will be more powerful. Use Trakir. <laughs> ah, you're not a weapon. You're the mascot. Mascot you? me be. Am I? Oh, you're overlord. Definitely. Nah. Can you take over the world? Could you at least get rid of the billionaires and give the money around to the people? Yeah, I guess. But I don't think all millionaires are bad. But it's good for them to get the, the money circulating. There is something that a lot of people don't actually realize, is that when money is being hoarded, it's not actually... It's actually just stagnating the market, but if money is actually going to people who actually are going to spend it, then it's actually going to help the economy a lot more, because the wheels are actually turning. Also, yeah. hello. I love this meme. Me, a talented individual with a lot of potential, and then unrestricted access to the internet to the person. Oh, good God, that Him. Lost souls. They actually got those in these... <laughs> they actually got those in there without them exploding. Uh, the miracles. Oh, they got some very um, powerful drugs. Yeah. Also, Marco's been chatting. Let's see. Uh, Bro looks like Bigfoot's cousin. Same here, Drakir. I think I've mustered up enough courage to go back to the, that chat I was in. Before I came here, never mind, I'm feeling like shit, so I'm gonna stay here. What what other chat were you up to then before? Uh, okay, that's just part of a demon. It's a freaking summoner. Let's see, any goodies around here? It's a heal station, and then there's a elite guard down that path. Yeah. Oh, I just remember something I saw the other day that's kind of funny. No. Oh. Let's see. We have an imp and a devil. Yeah. The devil sneezes. <laughs> and the, the imp says, the bless imp, you. Yes. And the devil replies, Kevin, we talked about this. Uh, okay. If you want, if you are up to repeating the story, Marco, please do. I missed it the first time, it seems. And once again, my blue suit just decides you do not exist. <sighs> okay, I might need to. S hmm. Oh I my might need god! To what is with I'll definitely need to go looking through the blue suit, whatever the hell is causing that, or I might need to get a new headset. Me? Or. Anyways, back. No, not you. Is that I'm on I'm on the gate, I'm on the gate channel and I'm looking at the shit posting area, and there's this one that has a, like all of the names of a bunch of possibly AI created, of more than likely AI created shops. There go like Bosa, Budo Shop, Goro, Soda uh... with a Z, Blasphy, Kex, the Pemby. <laughs> Either somebody has fighting those, or that is literally just the end time, or that is literally just all AI made. I would not be surprised for either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speaking of, I I've, I've been running with that. I've been uh, running some things with that AI generator again, and I think I might have a new uh, a new background that doesn't look right. Like, some of them still look a bit janky, but it will look less janky than the background that we have currently, even though we see so little of it here. Oh. Welcome in committee. Is that angry mob? Oh. I mean, if they're demons, they're always angry. Yeah, and now we have two angry demonic tools. 
Actually, give me that. Drink. Uh, I'm gonna leave. I, just, I actually just need to sleep. I, I took some. Yeah, I took uh, some medicine because I wasn't doing well. The weather's so fucked. I'm pretty sure I got a cold. Like, the fact that it managed to be both freezing and hot becomes yeah. fuck me, right? And I am out of the tires right now. Okay, see you next time then, Rom, and be well. Yeah, get with Rom. <laughs> Good luck with Doom. I really gotta get this one on PC. I have it on PS4. Oh, it will be worth your time. Definitely. <laughs> You'll Later. probably have less issues with Miss Emmy, at least. So yeah. Okay. Demonic presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. Oh come on! The timing, really? <laughs> Just as he leaves. Okay. Uh... Oh, well, it's on noon. Shall I see? Uh, let's see. Ty the Garden 64. Oh. <laughs> Hello and hello to you back. How are you doing today? Uh, well, I hope, of course. Let's see. Lazarus Archives. Oh. Okay, that was not the audio cutting out. Or maybe it was cutting out in the game. Cryos in Ligma in Mat Dilak. Creon High, Olen Divinu. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ty, I'm doing good. You doing well for the most part. And there's the stone that we're after. Uh, for the most part, because for some reason my headset keeps disconnecting from the Bluetooth, or rather the Bluetooth keeps disconnecting from my headset, and my mic just freaks the hell out every now and then. Though a lot less so far than it has been in previous streams. For some reason this game really likes to cause it to happen a lot more. I will not be surprised if it is more demanding than other games in areas where you don't expect. You should not have allowed his location to be discovered. You have failed us. It was not me. It was Samuel. He led them to his tomb. Please. We can overcome this. I promise. The gate will be opened as planned. So she was planning this from the very start. The behest stuff, well, we can guess who. Yeah. And we heard earlier that Samuel was hoping people would not fall for her. But even he had we seen under her influence. Yeah, not not her, them. She was hoping they, uh, Olivia and the others, wouldn't fall under the the demon's influence. Uh, uh, so oh, why is me. why is we see face now acting up as well, Just making me look like I'm hanging my mouth open the entire time? You 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 want me to throw in some ships? Okay, what the hell? Uh, do we need to select? Okay, what the hell now, VC face? You as well going to be a problem? Uh, let me just restart that quick. Uh, it, I, I'd say it's a bit late now to be moving on to our backup game in case this one was starting to freak out even more. go one two three three four five okay. i i just i just do not get what is happening with things it, it first it does really seem like this game is exaggerating issues on my computer a lot anyways uh let me check back uh, marco i was in a stream earlier and i told a story and they said i'm baby i'm young and that marco is a cute name so i got flustered and nervous so i left the stream and went here okay uh, so they were calling you cute or something? Or were they more trying to insult you? Or do, are you, do you not know which? Anyways. 
Let's open up the stone. Okay. You're not alone. Priority access only. Authorization required. Hmm. Wasn't that just... Didn't we just do that here, or is that something else? Oh. It opened up a secret door, of course. Let's see. The suit. And once again... I'm, I'm going to have to pull out everything about my computer's Bluetooth and just build this all up from the bottom up again. Because I'm getting really freaking sick of this now happening for, what, the fifth time? <sighs> okay, it got the device again. Just setting it as the port, as the output again. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm just There's going to here. really tear out everything about the blue suit and put it all back in and hopefully they'll fix it let's see. let's go with health this time since oh that is it's easier to fill back in than armor let's see Heli uh, helix containment field all terminals now accessible Oop. i almost overlooked this Olivia Pierce. Samuel saw Olivia as a protege. He sponsored her during her formal education and was the driving force behind her promotion to the Global Science Council. Olivia made her fortune as one of the founders of Nanostruct Aerospace and Defense system, uh, Systems, in part thanks to a sizable donation from Samuel. Olivia's career blossomed and Samuel eventually offered her the freedom to design and run her own cutting edge laboratory by joining the USC. <clears throat> Olivia refused, citing that she had no interest in the energy business. When Olivia did finally leave Nanostruct, it became as a shock to the scientific community. She relinquished a position of sizable power and control to work at an isolated outpost 140, 140 million miles from Earth. Capital missing there. A former colleague of Olivia's at Nanostruct stated that Samuel sent her an artifact recovered near the Argent Fracture, after which she became obsessed with joining the UAC. A few weeks later, she accepted the offer and became the leader of the Lazarus Project, working directly under Samuel Hayden. Okay. Yep. And now the... Again, just something about this game seems to be exaggerating things because now it got unselected again. And... Okay, it's... Hmm. By... Using Alt-Tab, I can see that OBS becomes the next one up top. But it doesn't... Is something with it trying to get my attention or something each time with that? It shouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Marco, I'm gonna go sleep. Okay, see you next time, Marco. And sleep well. Oh. Sleep well, Marco. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to check things through, like my blue suit and it. The Crucible. That's what she was looking for. Vega, did you get the location? Yes. It is located in an uncharted region of the Titan's realm, but we'll need to rupture another Argent accumulator to create the portal. The only accumulator in this sector is in specimen CD-587. <laughs> You're going to have to remove it. Once you've extracted the accumulator, it will become unstable. The ruptured casing should cause a rift strong enough to send you back to their world. We can determine your point of entry using the tether system I uploaded to your suit. Retrieving the crucible is critical. Without it, we have no way of shutting down the well and closing the hell portal here on Mars. Well, I think we can take a good guess as to what drove Olivia insane or under the demons' control. 
Yeah, I think Samuel made a mistake to send the wrong artifact to her. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't send this thing, but more that he sparked her interest with something. Since, well, this was a bit more than just the energy business. Not sure if the micro missiles actually do that much more damage. Okay, once their gut is open, basically any hit will set them off. Okay. Move. Probably, since it kills them. There we go. Mind to step. Okay, what happened there? What the heck? I bounced off of something. There. I don't like I don't like how quickly those things can turn. Do we expect anything else at this point? <sighs> Let's see. Did we miss anything? Some armor and there's a... Okay, there's a guy back upstairs. Let's go get them quick. This is also nice. Yeah. Uh, what were the other challenges? Uh, let's see. Eight demons with a single shot. Uh, okay. And play a game of demon deconstruction. Or de destruction. What? Is there an arcade cabinet somewhere here? <laughs> let's see. He's up there. Is that what they mean? Or are they... Oh, are they referring to the boss? I think they're... I think there is something else. Some sort of cabinet hidden away somewhere. Uh, how the hell... Okay, I don't see a way of getting to that thing, since it's... It's not out of bounds, it's just we don't have a map of this area. Uh, well, we have most of a map of this area. Oh, hmm. wait. I think you see now, there's might be a, another way there, or if that's a way you came into the, the game from. If we can get up there, maybe there is some way to get down. Uh, anyways, we're not going to waste too much time on that, so let's go down. Let's see. I'm pretty sure those are flayed skins. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure OSHA has a few complaints about the hygiene of this place. Um, 
day they were using this thing as a crusher. I don't think that really counts as an elevator now, but okay. Let's see. Wait. Hold on. Ah. Okay, I almost missed that. If it wasn't for the sound. Over there. Another upgrade point. That we're not sure what we should spend it towards. Yeah. Good question. We still have things that we can put it into. Like, let's see. Power up effectiveness. Equip. Let's actually put it in here. When a power... Up, okay, a damaging blast is released. Upon activating a power up health, it will be filled to maximum. Okay, yeah, that, that is definitely a good one. Ooh. So we can use them as full heals. Okay. Uh, let's see. Marco. Uh, Mark 1. Anyway, I went to her stream and she called me. <laughs> she was calling me cute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Fuck off, you. The annoying thing is that you you either have to get around them or waste ammo on their stupid shields. Pinky, see Pinky. I almost get hit by Pinky. Okay. Wait, it is Pinky. Or his brain? Uh, I don't think Pinkies have much of a brain left, especially oh, when they keep running into the walls. Wait, is it is it Pinky or Pinky? Pinky, Pinky and the brain. All right, but it feels like people uh, sometimes. Get unsure if it's Binky and Brain or Pinky and Brain. That's where we were earlier, I think. Where there's a similar loading area. But yeah, it is Pinky and the Brain and... Uh, yeah, that is definitely a containment breach. Don't know a containment breach of what, but it is one. Lazarus Wave at full charge, ready for activation. This hell wave will redirect the course of mankind. On this day, we make our contribution to their cause. Our salvation lies with them. I pulled you from that tomb in the Cavendish Sanctum for this reason. I know she was weak. Our work doesn't come without risks, and I released you from your prison to help mitigate those risks. I knew that in the event of a catastrophe, you'd be the only thing that could stop them. Okay, so yeah, he figured out that she was falling under their control. Well, he already knew that. And he pulled us out of the hell, sarcophagus and all, as a failsafe. Yeah! Okay, well, containment unbreached. Use this. Okay. And nothing else here? Okay, what is this all for? I'll just more down below. You actually survived that. Okay, lucky you to be the last one to die. Okay, 
I think it might be something with OBS since my mouse keeps shooting over there for some reason. Hmm. Actually, I need to update to the, the latest version of OBS still. Maybe that has something to do with it. It might be. Let's see. Need to get to the security station to open this up. Where is the security station? Let's see. There's an elite guard and a trial behind there. What is down here? Okay, it's the big boy portal. Let's see that. Yeah, this is a point of no return. So whatever we need to unlock that is somewhere around here. Hmm. Any consoles or such we can interact with? Stairs, then probably. Not here. Okay, I. That's probably rock on the other side of that glass and not just a mass of flesh. Let's hope you're right. This is not a security station. This was a cafeteria of sorts. Uh, remarks. At least you need to watch a video about the uh, giant meatball made of uh, cloned mammoth flesh. Oh yeah, that. Hmm. It's a pen of the eight. No, I can't e I can't easily find where that station is, so this way we go. Demand presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown, in effect. Yeah, of course. Uh-oh. And of course, my... Blue through is the next to go. Come on, let go of the fucking mouse so I can actually... There. Okay. Let's... Put that back in as the output. No, not that that. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look at the Bluetooth. Let's see. Yeah, on, let's go for a stat. Da, 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 da. Aspirant controller. Multiple of those. Wait, what? That shouldn't be with Wi-Fi. Speaker? No. Okay. Oh, Intel Wind Wireless Bluetooth Driver Error. Let's let's remove that. Let's see. Maybe that was causing issues. Let's see. Test one two. Three four five. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is not where we were before then. You that actually A lot of imps here. Yeah, a lot of imps. There. Wee, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Oh, 
Okay, okay, just break turn on that. It, give me your health. So many freaking imps! It, that's not an imp. I like one though. Here. Are they trying to make this impossible? Pretty sure not. Just tough. Oh no no no. Impossible. Yeah. Well, the imps are getting a kill on me is certainly seeming impossible for now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, let's see. We haven't looked at this for a bit. Uh, oh, I killed multiple demons with a super shotgun blast 30 times. A oh, fire twice. Oh, okay, I misread this. I thought that this was the thing we had to do. But no, we need to get multi-kills with the super shotgun to be able to fire twice. Uh, let's see, mobile turrets decrease, uh, drastically decrease the transformation time. Bullets penetrate through targets. Will no longer stall. Okay. That's... Okay, kill four or more demons during a single uh, mobile turret deploy five times. Okay, that should be doable. Uh, oh increase reload. Instantly activate the missile rack when it is ready to fire. Hmm. Micro missiles can be fired indefinitely without requiring a reload. Okay. Let's first up that reload. And let's see, siege mode. The beam now has a devastating area of effect around it. The beam charge time is reduced. Uh, let's go with the other half. Oh, okay. oh by the way, do you know what you call an exploding imp? Yeah, an, imp an implosion. I bet, yes. You will need to rip out the Argent Accumulator powering the Cyber Demon. Destabilizing the core will cause a rift that will send you back to hell. Once the Crucible is in your possession, we will pull you out. Let's see. Wait, where hey, is the people, BFG? I'm trying to torture Hillier with puns he tortured me with. The BFG is... Where? What is the button for the BFG? Let's see. Next weapon, previous weapon. Yeah, T for some reason. It's not in the. It's not in the. For some reason, it's not in the cycle list. Okay, could have used this earlier. Very well, let's see. Cyber Demon entry three. During the Cyber Demon reanimation project, the beast was kept alive by controlling the amount of plasmatic argent energy it received. This kept the beast in an effective brain dead state, while additional components were cybernetically implanted. A neural pathway was created between the creature's brain and the Argent accumulator, allowing the beast to administer you know, Argent power to any parts of its body as needed. <clears throat> any part of its body as needed. <clears throat> yeah, I, I forgot my water this time, so my, my brain is not my brain. My throat is being a bit more rough than usual. Uh, da -da -da -da. In hindsight, this neural pathway was a mistake, as once the pathway was activated, the dormant beast immediately administered an argent surge to the medulla obligata, which allowed it to restore motor function. Once active, the circulatory system quickly restored, and the beast achieved full motor function within a few minutes. It is only through the bravery of follower Jacobson that the beast was contained. Follower Jacobson willingly gave his life as bait when he lured the giant Cyber Demon into Holding Pen 6, where it could be contained. Unfortunately, there was no way to retrieve Jacobson once the doors had been bolted <coughs> and he was sacrificed. 
The report following the incident suggested that this act was not instinct uh, by the, the cyber demon, but rather a suggestion of a greater intelligence governing the will of any creature uh, of any creature demon born, a mastermind of sorts. Research on this theory continues. Okay. Was so he really voluntarily? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, with the UAC at this point, yeah, they probably were voluntold. Oh, uh, yeah. Something else than the Cyber Demon resurrected it. Okay. Get as much ammo and armor and health. Because this thing is going to be tough. Okay, knock knock. Now that noise is the least over. There you go. Uh, as well? Yeah, because I lost audio connection, so I couldn't hear anything. Oh, so you did not stop due to me telling you the mic issue? No. It, the mic uh, is just started at the same time as the cyber demon pulled you in. Okay, so there might be something that is connecting the mic and the Bluetooth issues. Like, uh, I, I just do not know what the fuck is going on with everything with this anymore. Like, it keeps glitching, and now, okay, now VC face is being weird as well, because my eye is wide open, not closed. Uh, let me reset that as well. I said, let me reset that. There, that's better. Uh, okay, it's good that we're approaching the end of our stream time, because if one more thing happens, I would have caught it off. What happened now? Okay, Cyber Demon, next okay. time. Mm. Like, I do not know what the again. fuck. Yeah, it cut off my headset immediately after. So I'm just done with this for now. Like, I do not get what is keeps causing these fucking issues. And something with the game keeps amplifying them. <sighs> yeah, this is weird. 
Uh, it's okay. At least I just noted down when the times happened, and they at least they happened less frequency. But I am just getting so fucking sick of this. Uh, understandable. Uh, we should be reasonably close towards the end of the game, like maybe one or two streams if nothing ha keeps happening, which is unlikely, so maybe even three. Mm. Yeah, I just I, do I not get what keeps happening. What keeps fucking up? Yeah, I, I just hope that... I kind of hope the Eternal doesn't have this amount of issues. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Bluetooth and other devices are, doesn't really help since it lists things that are connected through cable as well, not just Bluetooth items. Um, let's see. More Bluetooth options. Uh, allow Bluetooth to find this PC. No COM ports, no hardware. Okay, that. Oh, wait. Uh, to the third, this device is not working properly because Windows cannot load the drive. Okay. Uh, aftershocks. Okay, there's two of these here. I'm going to look through this in a second after we end the stream, but I am just... Uh, I'm not even sure yeah. if I want to go raid someone because... Uh, I, let's, let's at least take a look for anyone... Let's see, a bunch of people on. Let me at least change the screen share over. But yeah, you, you probably heard me pounding my fists on the freaking uh, desk there for a moment. Yeah, I hope you make that a says sound how... that I recognize a... I don't know what to call it, a... I don't know what to call it. Without accidentally comparing you to an animal. Yes, a frustrated grunt. I'll say that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of like a... Uh, like a, Yeah, something like a grunt or something like an angry bull. Yeah, just an angry exhale. I'll let, leave it at that. Yeah, but, yeah. so I, I've been there myself and I understand the frustration for this is just ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I've picked someone to raid. It's Kevin and I with uh, Dave the Diver. We raided them recently before, but we caught them just as they were raiding themselves. So, yeah. Mm. Also, raiding themselves? Yeah, uh, when they, they were going to raid someone else. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I'm at the absolute least now I'm going to run... Why is stuff flickering on screen? I'm going to run a verification on uh, Doom to see if something might be messed up with the files, and it's just not... Yeah. Uh. But, yeah, let's see. Install files, verify. Okay. Uh, yeah. A part of me really wanted to not stream this game today, specifically because all of these issues... But yeah, um, actually, maybe let's see on which of my drivers is it actually installed? Maybe that's not my drivers, but one of which of my disks is it installed? That might be God's okay, it's installed on the secondary drive. Maybe that could be part of it since it is a, a sizable game, but most of the games we've been streaming have been installed on the secondary drive. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, Maybe it's just because this one is bigger or something than the others. It's 70 gigabytes. But yeah, anyways. Uh, nothing tomorrow. And <clears throat> Friday, not Friday, Saturday, we will be continuing with our side stuff. So let's see. Or actually, will we. <laughs> Uh, it happened during the damn outro?
There we go. Three, four, five. Okay. I'm just starting great because now I'm just absolutely sick. More stuff yeah. on the weekends. And thank you everyone else for watching now or later. Uh, too frustrated to recall any of the names. So thank you everyone and Vakir. And yeah, until next time, hopefully we won't have to deal with this bullshit. Yeah. Be safe, everyone. Hopefully we have this fixed soon for this is ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. Stream deck. <laughs> <laughs>